Chapter 1, The Day Things Changed 2 In a dark void, which seemed to have infinite space, you could see a light. This blue light appeared similar to a candle flame as it flickered and seemed to blow out at any moment. If we look closer, we will see that light was actually a person. He appeared to be 6 foot 2 inches tall, average looks, short hair. This figure was see-through with no corporeal form, meaning he was nothing but a spirit. This spirit was now in a sitting posture as it floated in the void. Dash where the hell am I? Why can't I feel my body or anything around me? 1. After noticing the lack of feeling in his body and limbs the spirit looks around and notices the endless void he was currently sitting in. 3. Dash what's going on and why am I here? What was I even doing before I ended up here? Thinking back, the spirit remembered who he was. His name was Damien Shade. He grew up in an average middle class family with loving parents and lived in the United States of America. He grew up watching all kinds of heroes on TV. But when he got to high school he was introduced to the world of anime and watched countless series. But even though he watched a lot of anime he never forgot his love of the classic heroes in Marvel and DC watching a lot of their movies, TV shows and a few comics online. After graduating high school he spent five years working hard to get his bachelor's in mechanical engineering, nearly finishing the last few courses he needed for his degree. 11. That leads us toward the last few moments that Damien remembers before he wound up in that endless void. It was finals week and he only had one more exam to finish before he was done with slash university life at the age of 24. He was frustrated that he had spent the last two weeks studying for the five courses he was taking this semester to the point that he couldn't even watch any of the updates of his favorite anime, and some shows on MCU. Waking up at 7am for his last final that begins at 9am, Damien struggles with exhaustion after weeks of running on two to four hours of sleep a day just to make sure he could cram and review everything he could for these exams. By the time he finally made it on campus it was already 8am so he had a bit of time to de-stress and relax as he leisurely walked to the classroom. Being exhausted from the lack of sleep and stressed from the week of exams, this was a perfect moment to unwind for a bit and clear his mind. As he was getting ready to cross the street he noticed that there was a car speeding down the road that was about to hit this woman in front of him. 5. I know what you're thinking. The cliché save a damsel and get hit by the famous truck con. But this isn't that type of story. 12. He drops his book bag and begins to sprint across the street to push the woman out of the way of the speeding car. Just as he was sure she was in the clear he noticed how close the car is to hitting him so he jumped as hard as he could. After barely getting past the car he lost his adrenaline rush and his exhaustion hit him all at once. Losing all strength, Damien stumbled and fell forward on the curb and fell head first. Hitting his head on the curb, Damien opened a huge gash on his head and cracked his skull. The young woman who was just saved looked over to her savior to thank him, but instead saw him in a puddle of blood. Seeing the huge puddle of blood the woman screamed, causing a huge commotion. 15. Damien asterisk this is what I get for trying to play the hero after watching too much anime. I hope this isn't the end asterisk. 4. The pedestrians nearby run over to see what the commotion is all about, some calling the police and some trying to help stop the bleeding, and some just standing around to record everything. Some time later an ambulance pulled up and started moving toward Damien. Damien asterisk finally the ambulance is here. Hopefully they will be able to help me. It's already starting to get cold asterisk. Having a few moments of consciousness on the ride to the hospital he can hear the paramedics talking about his chances of survival, and let's be honest here, they were slim to none. Wondering if this is the end he closes his eyes for what he thought would be the last time. 3. Back to the present. After thinking back and remembering his life and his final moments, Damien begins to look around once more. Paying closer attention to his surroundings Damien begins to think about his current situation. Damien asterisk this dark space is seemingly endless. It almost seems like those afterlife, between worlds, type places in many different anime that have been popular recently. Next I'm probably gonna be talking to some being of higher power about reincarnation or something asterisk. While thinking that Damien begins to hear a mysterious voice in the surroundings, seeming to come from everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Dash not some being of higher power, but the god of creation. And I'm not here to talk to you just about your reincarnation, but that is a topic for later. 5. Creator's Thoughts. WMF 18. So this is my first attempt at writing an actual story. I would appreciate the support. If you have any advice or constructive criticism that would make the story better please leave comments or send message about it. There will be no strict release schedule for this novel unless I get more free time to write instead of read novels and also get further along in the story slash plot. Reading key. Speaking. Thoughts. Directives. Events. Locations. Times. Chapter 2. The Afterlife. Looking all around himself Damien can't seem to find the source of the voice. Turning around trying to see if it could possibly be behind himself. Still seeing nothing but void. GOC, God of Creation, it's unusual for souls to end up in my domain. When people die and pass on, they usually go through the cycle of reincarnation. 21. Damien dash soul? Cycle of reincarnation? So I guess that means I'm dead then. 5. Thinking back, this current setting reminded Damien about all the Ice Guy anime slash novels he's seen before. Just as he was about to ask another question there was a bright flash of light in front of him. As the lights slowly dim, Damien is able to see the form of an old man appear before his eyes. The old man is slightly shorter than Damien and had a long beard that ended at his waist. Wearing a white robe and being surrounded by some sort of glowing golden aura. While at the same time giving off the type of vibes and feelings a person would get standing in front of a loving and caring grandfather. 6. GOC dash that's right. You just died not too long ago in the process of saving the life of a young woman. Rubbing his beard and looking as if he just thought of something, the god of creation then looks back at Damien. It seems that the young woman you saved was influenced by your act of kindness and was able to finish her studies and went on to be a very successful doctor. She later saved many lives, often going out of her way to work on those who couldn't even afford the procedures. 14. Damien dash asterisk wow. I'm surprised so much good came from saving one person. But at least something good came from the whole ordeal asterisk. 4. GOC dash you are right in thinking the effect your death had on the world caused a lot of lives to be saved. Also, to be able to appear in my realm your soul is quite strong. Since you are now outside of the cycle of reincarnation and have done good deeds in your previous life, I will help you transition to your next life. 7. Damien dash asterisk I guess I shouldn't be surprised that the GOC can read my thoughts. But it would be so cool if the world he sends me to is like one of the animes I watch asterisk. 
Hearing the explanation, Damien couldn't be any more excited. He was just hoping to be able to have an ice guy life of his own. While at the same time he cautiously listens to what the god of creation has to say. GOC because your soul is stronger than those in your previous universe I am going to send you to one on a higher plane of existence. These universes are filled with beings and objects of power you couldn't imagine. I believe that glimpses of these universes have been spread around your world as entertainment. Most of the movies, comics, and anime in your world are just stories from the multiverses of a higher plane. 10. Hearing that most of the anime and movies he watched had a universe that it was based off of made Damien even more excited about his pending reincarnation. GOC dash after reviewing your life, I realize that there's a few movies TV shows, and comics that you've seen revolving around one of these universes. I believe you call it the Marvel Cinematic Universe and I'm going to send you there for your next life. The reason I'm sending you there is that it seems to be the universe you have watched the most. Plus knowing your personality, you would probably help the heroes get stronger and unite to prevent villains from taking control. Of course once I send you to the Marvel Universe, you are free to do anything you like. Now knowing that you're going to the Marvel world, what powers or abilities would you like to have to prepare yourself for the events to come? 16. Hearing all this, Damien couldn't help but remember the events that happened during Infinity Wars and Endgame in which countless people are snapped out of existence, Avengers mess with the timeline, and those people are brought back to life. All of which in some way or form involved villains affecting the universe. Thinking about all the abilities and power scenes slash mentioned in all his favorite shows he begins to question something. 4. Damien Dash Are there any limits to what I can ask for? Hearing this the god of creation smiles, glad Damien was intelligent enough to ask for details before he wasted this opportunity. GOC there are many limitations to the abilities and powers I can give you. I can't make you into a godly being, give you magical abilities that don't conform to the system of magic in that universe, and I won't give you any powers that are too powerful from the start. Although I will allow for powers that can grow or have the potential for high levels of strength. Another thing is that I will limit you to three powers. So think carefully before you make your choice. 23. Realizing his power choices just got nerfed he thought of how he could take advantage and possible loopholes. Damien is it possible to ask for the Marvel equivalent to some powers or abilities? GOC dash that is a good question. Yes Damien. If you ask for the Marvel equivalent then I could give you the powers slash abilities you need to gain the complete ability you asked for. Of course like all powers I give you it will start weak and must be trained to reach a higher level of strength. 11. Realizing that he can only get three powers Damien thinks hard about the kind of life he wants to live in Marvel. Know how advanced the MCU is technologically and how unsafe it was to live in that world. Knowing how most dangers in the MCU come from technology or the abuse slash lack of information, he starts thinking about powers of a technological effect. Then he had an interesting thought. 16. Damien dash asterisk what if I ask him for a power or ability that lets me control technology? That wouldn't be enough though. In the Marvel world I'd need more than just control of technology. But what about being able to create anything I imagine with the base materials? I remember there being a magic that could do all of that. It allowed the user to communicate and control tech, understanding slash controlling data and code, creating machines from materials given and upgrading machines. It had many other uses too. This will be my first ability, asterisk. 15. Damien okay. I've thought about my first ability. I want the Marvel equivalent of Technomancy with all the powers having the potential to be enhanced or grow in strength with training and time. Of course without any of the body transformative or augments. Damien said understanding just how often cyborgs and robots get hacked or receive viruses. Would it be possible to get the mutant version that's undetectable through Cerebro and things like it? I want it to be a mutant ability the moment I get to Marvel. 24. GOC dash it's possible to give you the mutant equivalent but there are quite a few powers and skills that will be included. I'll make it so you instinctively know how to use them but you will have to learn how to best use them. Smart of you to ask that they have the potential to grow in strength and I look forward to seeing how far you can take this ability. Now what will the other two be? 11. Sighing in relief Damien thinks back and remembers that there are two more things he will need in the Marvel world. He needs a way to heal and be able to survive all the random attacks, terrorists, and super battles to come. He also needs an ability that enhances his mind, memory, recallability, intelligence, and comprehension abilities. What's the point of going to Marvel if I can barely remember all the events and info I need to take advantage of? And without the proper intelligence I won't be able to use my Technomancer abilities to the best effect and understand how the machines work. 10. Damien dash my second ability should be a mutant healing factor that can grow in strength the more I use it. But I want to have control of the healing factor. Like being able to decide when an injury heals, how it heals or which body functions are healed at a time. But that doesn't mean that the body needs a command to heal fatal wounds. 8. GOC dash I was wondering whether you would get a life-saving power or not. It's no problem to give you a healing factor. I can even give you conscious control of the healing but no matter what I do, your body will have an automatic reaction to heal damage that affects the body's function. Any fatal or crippling wounds would be healed automatically if you don't consciously postpone slash stop it or direct how it heals. Now what would be your last ability? 4. Now that he has that finalized Damien thinks of what ability he needs to improve all his mental faculties. Thinking of all the brainiacs and geniuses he has seen in his shows. 1. Damien dash for my last ability I want enhanced intelligence. The ability that enhances all my mental faculties like memory, processing, calculations multitasking, focus and things like that. Also being able to grow in power the more it's trained or used. 25. GOC dash that is easy enough Damien. Now I'm going to send you to the Marvel world and have you take over the body of a young boy with the same name as you. When you wake up you will have all the abilities stated before and instinctively know how to use and control them. I'll even allow you to keep the memories of the boy to make integrating into the new world easier. I wish you luck. Saying his piece the god of creation waved his hand and Damien was surrounded in a golden light and warmth. Then he disappeared from the void. I hope you will be able to unite the heroes and prevent that titan from killing half the universe. 17. After the flash of golden light things went dark and his entire life flashed before his eyes. Even memories from early childhood he thought he had forgotten. He remembered everything and could recall all the information he wanted from his memories. Then the flashback ended with the scene of his death. But just as he thought he was done, a new flash of memories began. 8. Creator's Thoughts. WMF 18. Here is a list of powers that he currently has. Remember that they have unlimited potential and can grow slash evolve with training. 
1. Technomancer like mutant power cyberlingualism, omnilingualism, computer interaction, electronic communication, mechanical intuition, chronological constructs, ambient resource construction. 2. Healing factor. 3. Enhanced intelligence. For those of you who don't know what these abilities do I found them on a fandom website to base my character's powers on. They will start off weaker that described with all the same weaknesses. But they will get stronger and might lose the weakness later on. HTTPS colon slash slash powerlisting.fandom.com slash wiki slash superpower underscore wiki. Chapter 3, Waking Up 3, born on May 4th of 1996, to the happily married couple of Jasmine and Alexander Shade, was a quiet baby boy. This child was named Damien Shade. 14. The parents of this child were both successful in business. Alexander being an accountant that works independently, while able to choose his clients. More often than not he ends up working for a lot of people with financial problems and helps them to clear their debts by properly managing their money. Jasmine on the other hand works as a lawyer, doing her best to make sure that those who commit crimes get their consequences. 10. Growing up Damien spent a lot of time with his parents, who always made the time to be with him. His dad being an independent accountant was able to often work from home and take care of Damien, while his mom, wanting to spend time with her new child, took time off from work for three years after Damien was born. It was a loving and caring family. Damien was also considered smart for his age. Since he was three years old he was starting to show that he learns things quicker and easier than all the other toddlers around. Already being able to read by himself, Damien began to get curious about things, beginning to always ask questions about anything that catches his attention. By the age of five Damien was considered a very bright child, always the top of his class and able to easily memorize everything he learns. But Damien had recently developed a quirk of taking things apart to see how they work. But luckily, the things he has taken apart so far were restricted to things easily put back together. Damien was always a very kind, energetic, and outgoing child, which were qualities that attributed to him making many friends with his classmates. 1. Watching the last of the memories flash past his mind Damien now realized what has just happened. He was reborn into the body of young six-year-old Damien Shade and was now in Marvel on March 8th of the year 2002. 8. Damien dash asterisk now that I know I am in the MCU in the year 2002 I have to make sure that I remember everything I can about the MCU. Then I have to test my powers and begin to plan for the future asterisk. 2. Opening his eyes for the first time in this new world, Damien slowly sits up and decides to look around himself to regain his bearings and reaffirm his memories. He sees the room that he has been living in for the past six years. The toys and action figures on the floor, TV, and game system in the corner, and cartoon posters all over the walls. He closes his eyes again and thinks about his powers. Damien dash asterisk the GOC said that I would know what my powers were and instinctively know how to control them. Let's see if what technomancer power I have asterisk. 2. Focusing on his technomancer powers, Damien starts to feel something. A slight signal and connection coming from the corner of the room. He focuses on that connection and it splits into two, one feeling bigger than the other. Opening his eyes, he sees the TV in his line of sight. Focusing again on that strange connection he wills for it to turn on. The next thing he knows, the TV flickers on. 5. Damien dash this is amazing. I can actually control it with my thoughts. I'll have to get more practice over my powers but first things first is to research the current events and get used to this new life. 3. Jasmine dash Damien come down for breakfast? The food is getting cold. Chapter 4, Chapter 4, New Beginning. Two weeks later, New York. After waking up in the body of a six-year-old, Damien spent his time with his family, researching the new world he's in, and learning how to use his powers. He knew for certain that he was in the MCU, and that there were all sorts of companies and items that weren't available in his previous world. He also spent time trying to learn as much as he can of new skills to better improve his current abilities. 2. Spending time with his family Damien had to put on the act of a six-year-old child. Luckily for him his previous self was already intelligent for his youth, although not considered a complete genius. Although to a 24-year-old Damien, acting like a six-year-old was kind of refreshing in a way but also frustrating in a sense. On the plus side at least he still had a loving family who is always willing to spend time with him. His dad, having a home office, was able to spend the most time with him. They often play video games together, study new topics, or watch movies and go outside together. His mom on the other hand, although she loves him very much, didn't get to spend as much time with him except for on the weekend. Getting back into her career Jasmine had to spend most of her time reviewing cases or going to the courthouse. But on the off chance she doesn't have any work to do, or is not too tired, she's able to spend her afternoon with both Damien and Alex. But on the weekends they are able to spend time together as a family although there may be some minor interruptions here and there due to Jasmine's job, or Alexander may get a few business calls, he still didn't let that disrupt the loving family. And in the two weeks time Damien has been able to completely acclimate to the life of a six-year-old. Two. But playing games and spending time with his family wasn't the only thing he did. Like a six-year-old Damien did have to go to school. And while in school he was able to research what little information he didn't know about the world. Of course he was able to make friends and continue on with Damien's regular life, but he also spent some time training his abilities. In class Damien will try and connect to any computers or devices around himself. Mostly things like video games the other kids had with them or cell phones and laptops in the classroom. By doing this he was able to train his ability to connect with and control technology. While reading the textbooks and other books in the library at school increased his knowledge base and allowed him to improve his mind and other powers. While on the other hand, pretending to continue being the active kid that the other Damien was allowed him to do strenuous exercise and activities with the other kids around him and practice control of his healing factor. By doing so he was able to work his muscles and body to the limit or even to exhaustion and be able to speed up or slow down his healing factor to suit his needs and strengthen himself. 15. While all this was going on, Damien was still trying to figure out a plan of action for his future. The first thing he noticed was that he needs to be able to get his hands on scrap metal and other components and materials to create whatever technology he needs. So he needs to figure out how to get his hands on broken or not working technology. Then he can use his powers to make computers more advanced and compact than anything being used on the planet. 
Knowing that there were no events in the Marvel world that he should take part in, until the middle of 2003, Damien had time to make ample preparations. So Damien decided that he would spend his extra time using his powers to scan all nearby technology to get their schematics, researching programming languages starting with binary, and practicing hacking with and without his powers. He also begins training his powers so he connects to more devices at once. 13. Currently in class, Damien dash asterisk although I hate to admit it, being brought back at 6 years old has had its advantages. I get to play and train all afternoon and nobody thinks anything of it except that I'm an energetic little kid. Also the classes in first grade, like the math class I am currently in, are so easy that I have time to connect to the school computers. After researching for the past 2 weeks I'm at least up to date on the current events. Thanks to my memories though, I know that I have a year until the hand takes control of Rand Industries. I need to spend all the time I can learning as much about programming and hacking as I can. Starting with the origin of programs, binary, and working up to all other known programming languages asterisk thanks to his abilities it doesn't take long for him to learn the languages. Over the weekend alone he was able to completely learn the binary programming language. But understanding it and actually using it are two different things. Asterisk thankfully I can use my abilities to have the machines around me to help me write, correct, and test all the codes I make. Having an enhanced mind and training to multitask is making the job a lot easier. Asterisk. 8. While continuing his research Damien tries to connect to another computer in class in order to train his powers. The first few times the connection was brief, but on the tenth try he was able to successfully hold a connection to two computers. Next he researched a programming language on one and programs for it on another. Damien dash asterisk hopefully I'll be able to keep up the progress in time to start my plan. Chapter 5, Chapter 5, Progress and Preparation. Seven months later, home. Damien dash asterisk today on October 19th, officially seven months since I woke up in the Marvel world. So far I have trained and strengthened my powers to an amazing degree. I can now connect to up to five devices at once while only giving simple commands. Although when fully controlling the devices I can connect to three at once. I have improved my intelligence and can now think in parallel for two completely different tasks. I have also relearned all topics of general learning for this world up to the high school level. Things like English, math, history, and basic sciences. I was even able to learn all programming languages made public. Now the next thing for me to do is get started on learning about hacking. Asterisk. 13. Waking up early this Saturday morning, Damien was excited to finally be able to start learning how to hack. But he needed a way to test what he learned. Which brings us to the reason for his excitement. For the past half year, Damien has not only improved his powers but also his body. When sick he would use his healing factor on white blood cells, antibodies, and other parts of his immune system. By doing this he is able to improve his immune system and gain immunity to the viruses. No more common cold or strep throat, he has also been exercising every day. He does push-ups, sit-ups, squats, and lunges until he can't anymore. After which he controls his healing factor to increase the natural healing of his muscles. Then he does stretches to improve flexibility doing the same to allow for a strong but flexible body. Along with this daily morning routine he would also meditate every night before bed. 9. Knowing that in the Marvel world there are a lot of people with abilities that can affect the memories and read the thoughts and mind of others, he wanted to prepare himself against that. Plus having that as a way of organizing his memories and further improving his mind was a great bonus. It took him two weeks alone to be able to even reach his mindscape through meditation alone. Further modifying his mindscape and building up defenses took months. He surrounded his mindscape with multiple barriers and firewalls that allow him to filter access. Of the five barriers and firewalls, the closer to the center of his mindscape the more advanced the firewalls and their screening abilities and the more powerful the corresponding barrier. The outer level he left blank and made into a communication zone for him and any future psychic friends. This zone allowed him to be able to communicate and share thoughts without it leaking his inner thoughts and interfering with his thought process. But still needed his permission to be able to bypass the firewalls, unless powerful enough to overpower his weakest defenses. The second level was for his surface thoughts and would be a good bluff for those who think they broke his defenses. The constructs of his mindscape begin here, appearing to be a massive compound. This zone also stores copies of general and public information that he gathered in research that normal people would know. Also many false memories and maze-like inner structure with automated defenses, drones, and security scanning at irregular intervals. The third level is hidden in the inner part of the compound, needing verification and access through a firewall to get through, holding his inner thoughts and more copies of all info he researched and learned. Still all things regarded as his secrets are hidden deeper. In the fourth level hidden are the hidden memories, thoughts, and memories about his powers. All the things he learned to use them better and even the schematics of all devices he scanned. This may seem like the final level but everything in this level is also a copy. Behind a hidden bookcase in this library of info is a hidden server room where all the original copies are stored and this is the core of his mindscape. Filled with servers and five different computers. All looking like an upgrade of the previous one. And each has access to some information. Hidden on a seemingly worn out computer, which in all actuality is the most advanced of them all, but seemed to be less advanced and glitchy than the others is a secret file hidden in the operating system of the computer itself. This file was actually the true and complete library of everything Damien. His past life included, while others would only be able to see folders and files about his early childhood until six years old. This hidden file though was set to replace any and all corrupted information and memories placed or found in his mind after a thorough scan every 12 HRS. 24. The different levels of his mindscape and the maze of the compound to further protect from unwanted visitors alone took him three months to complete. Then the added defenses, drones, security systems, firewalls and barriers took three more months. This last month though, he has been spending his time meditating while splitting his mind to attack and defend his mindscape. Doing so to find and correct any weaknesses, crack in defense and further secure everything. 4. I know this is a lot but you know this in 4 will be important later on. Too many Marvel villains trying to brainwash and erase memories. 
15. Even while all this was going on, Damien didn't sacrifice any family time. Although he ended up having a lot of late nights because of it, he was thankful that his healing factor was able to rid him of the fatigue and heal his exhaustion. By spending time with his family he was able to slowly express his love of technology to his parents and show some of his intelligence. As far as they know, Damien is at the high school level while being in the second grade. Being adamant about being normal and staying in the same school he was able to continue hiding his genius from others outside his family. But to encourage him to continue learning about technology, Damien's parents were going to buy him a new computer. This was for doing better in school the last semester and staying a B average student. While at the same time hoping that having access to the ever-expanding library of the internet would inspire him to continue with technology later on in his life. Little did they know, this computer was to be the first machine Damien would use his powers to completely upgrade and modify to his liking. Using pieces and parts from broken appliances thrown out, or computer parts bought with money made repairing things for people in the neighborhood and school. 13. Damien dash asterisk I can't believe I'm going to have my own computer this fast. But considering the only computers in the house are dad's desktop for work and mom's laptop, where she stores court case information. He's not surprised they would eventually get me my own computer so they won't have to worry about me disrupting the work files when I use their computers. To think that I've been saving up money to buy my own. While at the same time, I've continued to gather computer and machine parts from everywhere to use as a base for the modification. Asterisk. 6. Jasmine dash Damien you need to go ahead and clean your room while your dad's on the way home. Make sure you have a clear spot on your desk for the new computer. Hearing his mom, Damien jumps up from his bed and starts cleaning his room. He picks up all the dirty clothes off the floor and throws it in the clothes hamper. He cleared the paperwork from his desk and put it in its rightful place. He makes his bed and makes sure that everything looks nice and neat in his room. Just as he finished making his bed Damien heard his dad coming through the front door, soon followed by the sound of footsteps on the stairs. 7. Jasmine Damien, if you want this new computer your room better be clean. She said as she walked in Damien's room followed by Alex. Damien dash I just finished cleaning everything mom. Please let me help dad connect the computer now. Chuckling at the antics of his wife and son, Alex brings a big box to the floor in front of Damien's desk. Alex dash if you want to help then come over and let's unbox your new desktop. It won't take us long to plug it up and you can finally get started. 1. The three of them work together for the next 10 minutes unboxing and plugging up the new desktop on Damien's desk. After which they walk through everything and even play a few games online. Only to stop an hour later for dinner. 3. Midnight, Damien's bedroom. After thoroughly testing out the computer and scanning it with his powers while having fun with his parents, Damien now knows the limitations of the computer. Sitting in front of his desk with a box of computer parts next to him he starts using his powers to design a supercomputer using all the parts and components he gathered using his new computer as the base. All the while keeping the same outer appearance and working the same unless his powers are used to command the operating system to switch. 4. Damien dash asterisk now I have to concentrate. I want a supercomputer that has super fast processing speed, 100 petabytes of memory, the ability to detect and connect to all other electronic slash digital slash radio transmissions, expand the range of its detection slash connection, able to have a hidden operating system accessible only by my powers, and keep the original appearance it had. But with the parts I have those systems will be limited. I only have enough materials to have 50 terabytes, a connection slash detection range of 30 miles, and a processing speed of 1 terabyte per 2 minutes installed. Asterisk. 20. While Damien was imagining all of these specs for his new computer, he was using his abilities to design a computer that had all the specs he wanted. Not only that but all the parts in the box and the computer itself started floating up in front of him. Slowly the computer separated completely to its base parts and the electronics in the box broke down to their base components. Soon those parts flowed together morphing and changing the computer parts in a major way. Finally the leftover parts went back to the box and the computer slowly put itself back together. 5. Damien dash there. Now that that's done I now have a computer I can use to further my plans. Asterisk now that I have this computer I can use it as practice for my hacking by using my powers to simulate hacking the computer and at the same physically code to defend the system. I'm going to use all forms of hacking and practice the use and defense of viruses with the system as well. So let's get started. Asterisk. 10. Damien, now having less than a year to become an experienced and super advanced hacker, now spends his nights learning and practicing all forms and methods of hacking. Because of his advanced intelligence it takes little to no effort to integrate his knowledge of programming to do so. Soon becoming able to slowly create his own virus slash hacking protection software and become fluent enough to hack into less secure systems without detection. But these improvements happen over the course of several months. Chapter 6, Chapter 6, Rumors of Upgrade 13. Dash 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 two months later. Spending his time late at night on learning and practicing every known hacking and virus creation slash defense program, Damien became adept in the skill within two months. During which time he had practiced using his new computer, his parents' computers, and the computers at school. All the hacks and viruses he created were just harmless things that were fixed after two hours or by restarting the systems. Within that time he was able to hack into public systems with little to no security without detection. But using his powers he was able to enhance his skills and able to get into the less secure private systems for small companies. So he continued to practice, and every time his hacking skills advanced he would make new programs and improve all the backdoors and hidden viruses planted in many systems slash servers. At midnight, now December 15th, Damien was finally skilled enough to hack into the Bank of America and created a bank account for himself. This checking and savings account was under his name, social and everything. This account was hacked to make it seem as if he was a legal adult in the system. He also was able to hack into the bank accounts of various drug dealers, human traffickers, and murderers giving himself a starting budget of $10,000. He was even nice enough to gather all the evidence needed to arrest those same criminals while giving the credit to good cops that don't take bribes and bend the law. These 18 criminals that Damien helped put away, and took a negligible amount of money from, helped make the career of 25 cops in New York City. While his way of contacting these officers involved hacking electronic devices they were using while alone and only giving them the info needed and a name to refer to. The name he told them was Upgrade. Followed by a black and green circular symbol with two inverted triangles vertically centered inside. Think Omnitrix symbol, using his knowledge of the Marvel world, it was easy for Damien to remember the names of a lot of crooks that were captured easily or had no effect on the storyline. While at the same time he knew of a few truly heroic cops in New York City as well. 
which is how the name upgrade spread after reporting to their superiors how they got their info. 10. With his startup capital, Damien used his powers to invest in the stock market. Being connected to the system, he knew down to the millisecond when stocks started to drop in value, allowing him to turn $10,000 into $100,000 within two months. During that time period he was also researching stocks and the stock market, becoming a great trader within a month, also looking up the different companies and programs currently in use to the general public. Outside the $100,000 in profits he still had enough to buy a 1% share of LinkedIn and looked forward to the launch of MySpace, Facebook, and the streaming platforms in the years to come. 12. Now August 11, 2003, Damien sits in class, reviewing his progress while the teacher is lecturing. He now has $1 million in profits from the stock market, and that's not counting the money he put into buying shares of LinkedIn, MySpace, Disney, and a few other companies as well. Using his powers he is now able to connect to 10 devices all at once while 100 miles away from them. He is a 7-year-old able to lift 200 pounds without breaking a sweat. And his mindscape has further strengthened, making the maze harder to navigate, strengthening the barriers, and increasing the amount of knowledge he can store. 9. Due to new computer access over the past 10 months Damien was able to study engineering, electronic systems, chemistry, biology, and some medical knowledge. All of which to an intermediate level at least. 3. His hacking has even advanced to such a level that the Pentagon isn't able to detect his breach in security. He even continued to help the police with his hacking and spread his name by helping officers across New York in getting evidence against criminals that won't affect the storyline, while at the same time recording and storing evidence of major criminals that affect the MCU storyline. 12. Damien Dash asterisk to think after all this time I will finally be able to begin my plans and start preparing for my debut as a hero. First things first, I have four major tasks that have to be done tonight and doing so will make things a lot easier for me. The first task is to use his powers to hack into Stark Industries systems and get a copy of Jarvis's base code and use it to create an AI of his own. Second is to hack into the systems of every computer owned by known villains and their future accomplices. Third is to hack into the computer systems of all future heroes and SHIELD, while at the same time using the AI to track and monitor all the important people. The fourth and final task is to use my finds to create a base of operation for my future hero career and a new more advanced supercomputer and network system for my AI to run at the most optimal state without detection. This is going to be a long and exhausting night asterisk thinking that Damien sighs aloud, interrupting the teacher in the middle of his explanation about fractions. 17. Teach dash Mr. Shade, if class is so boring, why don't you tell the class the answer to the problem on the board? Damien thinks back and recalls the professor was using a circular diagram to represent a pizza with six slices and was describing what would happen if two were eaten. Looking back at the teacher Damien started to answer the question in a dull tone. Damien dash if two slices were eaten from the pizza, then there would only be four sixths of the pizza left. And when simplified there will be only two thirds of the pizza left for everyone else. 1. The teacher and his classmates look at him stupefied. Teacher dash yes, um, that's correct. Well class, let's continue on with the lesson. Chapter 7, Chapter 7, Operation Alfred 19. Later that night, 11 p.m., Damien's bedroom. Laying down in his bed, Damien meditates on all the knowledge he ever gained on programming, hacking, and the use of his powers. He reviews all his experiences, all the training, and his self-created hacking techniques as well. Then he reviews his powers, his abilities to control slash command machines, and connect to many. Also his discovery of linking multiple computers together with himself as the network, being able to transfer through that network as well. Damien dash asterisk okay, this is going to be the most difficult hack I have ever performed. Not only do I have to get into the Stark Industries network, but I must then use that to connect with Stark's private server. Then I have to sift through the data and find Jarvis main program with the core. Afterwards I have to download and transfer the data without getting tracked. Once all the AI programs are saved on my computer, I then have to isolate Jarvis so that he can't escape or interact with anything on my supercomputer. All the while, remaining undetected so as to not draw attention to myself. This is going to be a pain in the ass. 13. Even though he was thinking all of this, Damien knew that with his powers a lot of his effort would be spared. Damien then sat on his bed, crossing his legs, to get in a meditative pose. He then focused his mind and reached out with his powers. He then scanned through all electronic devices in the general direction that Stark Industries was from him. After finally connecting to a computer with a high security clearance 15 minutes later, Damien slowly connected to his supercomputer as well as making sure that the two were separated and had no connection to each other whatsoever. By doing so he can use himself as an intermediary and prevent his computer from being tracked when he downloads Jarvis. He then slowly commanded the computer to connect to the Stark server where Jarvis was connected. Damien dash asterisk now that I'm in the system I have to sift through the network and find Jarvis. I'll make a small virus that looks through data and sends copies of simple weapon blueprints to a library computer. That will be deleted permanently from the library computer the moment it is downloaded. I then wait and observe what the system does to the virus I released into it. The system detected the anomaly quickly and there was a huge program that isolated and started dissecting the virus. Jarvis was in the middle of dissecting my virus when I used my powers to scan the system and find his program. Using my programming knowledge I was able to quickly search for the core parts of his AI programming. I used my connection and understanding of programming to read through Jarvis core program and reading and understanding how it was written and what each part does, while at the same time using my connection to my personal supercomputer to copy Jarvis code in an isolated virtual space in the computer. Asterisk. 5. Once Damien was halfway through copying all of Jarvis code the AI finished taking apart his virus and realized that it originated inside the system. Jarvis started searching all over the Stark systems to find the point of origin. Knowing his time was limited he increased his speed in copying Jarvis source code and just finished when one millisecond later Jarvis discovered the company computer Damien was connected to was the source. Damien then worked overtime to copy as much of the data on Jarvis and his functions as possible to the isolated virtual space. But finding the link to Damien Jarvis would also discover his programming being viewed. So Damien used this time to mentally copy all he could read about Jarvis and his functions before covering his track and severing the connection to Stark Industries in one fourth of a second after Jarvis discovered the computer he was connected to. Even though this all took a while to explain, in all actuality it took a total of 5 minutes from the moment he connected to Stark Industries to the moment he was discovered and severed the connection. Damien dash asterisk I need to hurry and copy the rest of the program to the isolated space and see how much of Jarvis I got. 
Using my enhanced memory of reading through his programming I can fill in a few of the gaps. But on the plus side I was able to read through his source code and understand how Jarvis program works. But even with all this it will take a while to make my own AI. It looks like I got all of Jarvis's source program, and that's basically a program that allows artificial intelligence to think for itself and to constantly learn new knowledge. This program is also set so that its sole purpose is to help Tony Stark. So if I make a new AI with this source code I can basically change it to where its sole purpose is to help me while also placing more limitations on it. But at the same time I'm going to have to include knowledge of various other things and set other restrictions on it so that I can safely teach it and at the same time control its growth. I don't want a Terminator or iRobot situation where it determines that humans must die. Asterisk. 13. The first thing that Damien does is add all he saw in Jarvis's code. He starts to copy the files and everything he can about Jarvis code. Then starts a virtual environment and watches how the code interacts with the virtual system on the computer. Using his enhanced mind, his knowledge about programming, and a little bit of information he knows about artificial intelligence he starts to study Jarvis's code and all his functions. Then using his enhanced mind he starts to scan the code for flaws, or deficiencies in the code and possible ways to improve the code as well. Even looking at all the knowledge Jarvis has about certain aspects, such as business, law, programming, science, chemistry, mathematics, engineering, mapping and geography, people interaction, etc. Damien then has all his advanced knowledge about all forms of programming, viruses and hacking creation slash detection slash protection. By doing this he was able to further improve the level of programming for the AI and at the same time increased his defense against viruses in hacking attempts. I then went through the program and completely wiped Tony Stark from his memory and then made myself the owner of the core program. I was also able to go through it to see the level of access people had to the program and kept the system in place but at the same time I made it to where I had complete and sole access and control to the AI. And only I could give and take away access at all levels. Just for fun Damien even changed the name of the core program to Alfred and changed the voice to one similar to Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. The original Alfred from the animated series. 21. After the countless tests, modifications, additional functions, and information Damien finally finishes his own personal AI. At 4 AM he finally decides everything is secure and stable enough to activate Alfred in the virtual space and see if it acts similar to but better than Jarvis. Alfred dash good morning sir. Is there any way I can be of service? Damien dash asterisk hmm. His program is running faster and more efficient than Jarvis at the moment. Let's see if he can access the system asterisk Alfred tell me the time, date, and current location based on your system's info. Alfred dash sir, it is currently 4.02 AM on August 12, 2003. This system's last known location is in New York City, New York. More specifically in Queens, New York, sir. 1. Damien Asterisk looks like everything is running fine so let's test his priorities. Asterisk so what is your primary function? Also state your new role. Alfred Dash my primary function and role is to assist you in all your endeavors, making your life easier, and protecting you and your family as your virtual butler, sir. 1. Damien Asterisk even while connecting to the system and using my powers to scan the code, everything is working as expected. Next is to give him limited access and to make a permanent server for him Asterisk. Chapter 8, Chapter 8, A New Beginning 2. As Damien thinks about that, he goes to his closet and pulls out a box of old electronics parts. The parts in this box have increased from last time, even including things like modems, electric watches, and other components of PCs. Closing his eyes Damien thinks about the two things he currently needs. Right now he needs an advanced server with an unprecedented amount of processing speed and memory. He also needs a small, durable, and concealed supercomputer that he can carry around at all times. Looking into the box and doing inventory on all the stuff he has collected over the past year, he begins to let his powers design the two devices while further specifying what he needs them to do. Even though his mind is enhanced the best results would come from letting his mechanical intuition and technological constructs abilities take over. 3. Meaning Damien uses the technological intuition part of his abilities to build advanced tech without fully understanding how the tech was made and why it works. 26. Using his abilities, Damien first makes the server for Alfred. He makes a metal box 10x10x4 that is seamless. This server somehow has a built-in chargeable battery, with a 12HR battery life. The ability to connect to any known network. I'm talking about Wi-Fi slash radio slash infrared slash satellite. Things like that, an advanced firewall and network security. This server is also undetectable with the technology of today. Also having 10 petabytes of memory and a processing speed of 1 terabyte a second. 7. After the server was completed the watch floated in front of Damien and separated into its smallest parts. His powers then started to make miniature computer parts and other components to make a seamless digital watch. The watch itself is durable under 500 pounds, waterproof, and automatically adjusts to the size needed for the wearer. A direct connection to the server within 10,000 miles. Built in GPS, a direct connection to the supercomputer in his room, and had a terabyte of memory storage. The watch also had holographic projection and hard light projections. This watch face had the time, date, and a backlight slash nightlight slash flashlight. The watch itself had three buttons. One for the light, one to switch from time to date, and a third for a stopwatch slash timer. Making it seem even more like a normal digital watch. Although at the same time, the watch was a computer. This supercomputer could be accessed through the holographic projector or with Damien's powers. The inner computer could also be used to control the watch and its functions. 6. Opening his eyes, Damien looks at the two devices in front of himself. Admiring the work of his powers while connecting to them to figure out how they work. Afterwards he put the watch on his left wrist and tucked the server in his closet and plugged it into an outlet. Then after triple checking the security and the limitations and control protocols in place he proceeded to move Alfred's main program to the server. 11. Damien dash Alfred. I want you to run a diagnostics on the systems of your new server and let me know if there are any issues running your program. Alfred dash right away sir. Beginning diagnostic. 
All systems operational and efficiency is 230% compared to the previous system. How else can I be of assistance, sir? Damien Dash for now all I want is for you to learn everything you can about law, creating and maintaining a business, and practice your hacking with me. Once he has Alfred start researching those topics Damien begins to virtually go through all the steps necessary to start a new business. Using his hacking skills and powers to speed up the process. Damien asterisk with this done I can now use my business to cover my hero activities and expenses. Now I should use the name of my business to buy a few properties and prepare for the future. I don't expect it to grow enough to compete with Stark Industries, but I want to make Wayne Industries become well known. Asterisk. 20. Using his company name, Damien opens up a company bank account and transfers $1 million into the account from his personal account. This leaves around 50000 in his account though, the rest of his money is currently in stocks, he also gave all the account details to Alfred and had him secure the accounts and keep watch over them. After infusing $1 million into the company account he then spends 10 minutes searching all junkyards and dumps in New York. Damien wanted to buy a junkyard going out of business and at least 6 acres of land. Doing so he found a small junkyard in Queens with 5 acres of land. The place was in the red and barely scraping by. Using his powers to quickly pull up all info related to the place he found that it was a family business that went under due to growing debts. Damien then sent multiple emails out, using Wayne Industries email address, to the owners about buying their company. He gives them a starting bid of $100,000, giving them a month to respond and leaving the contract and final payment up for negotiation. 6. Damien then had Alfred use the info in his database to draw up a contract with the family so that the son could manage the company but can't make any business decisions or changes to the company without Damien's consent. Damien saved the contract so that he could have lawyers look over it and make a new draft. Hopefully if the family agrees the junkyard could become a subsidiary of Wayne Industries. 2. Damien dash Alfred. I need you to find some trustworthy and experienced people to hire as a legal team for Wayne Industries and its subsidiaries. Do a complete background check and survey their interactions and work history. They need to be in New York or willing to move here. Kind people willing to do the right thing, and guaranteed not to betray the company or take advantage of their position. Monitor them for a week and give me the list then. 7. Alfred dash Yes sir. I am now compiling a list that fits the parameters given. It will be complete after monitoring their behaviors and investigating them individually. It will be complete in one week. Is there anything else I can assist you with sir? Damien dash actually there is. Access file Marvel hidden in the supercomputer and download all info only in sub file characters. I want you to locate and monitor all people on that list. Chapter 9, Chapter 9, Looking to the Future. Alfred began looking up the designated file and began his search for the people on the list. Every person on the list had at least some basic info and a picture of what they would look like at some point. Pictures generated from the MCS memory of the characters. Then after downloading the list, Alfred began using every means possible to locate, track and monitor the people on the list. Being extra cautious in the monitoring of certain people as noted in the info, he began to search through pictures online, government databases, emails, phone calls slash texts, and used references in the file about each and every person to find and continue monitoring them. Alfred sir, I have begun the search and will begin tracking and monitoring all the people in the file. I have already located 15 and will continue. Damien that's great Alfred. Although you should be wary of those on the list with technological prowess. Only monitor them indirectly unless told otherwise. Alfred of course sir. I will make sure to do so. Is there any other way I can be of assistance sir? Damien dash just make sure that Wayne Industries is owned by the identity I made for Bruce Wayne. Once you finish that will be all, Alfred. Looking over at the clock, Damien realizes it is now 4.20 a.m. on Tuesday August 12th. Stretching and getting ready for bed, Damien begins to think of his next steps for the future asterisk I am pretty sure that I'll be fine with just two hours of sleep tonight. I still need to rest my mind after using my powers that strenuously for so long. My next step is to figure out how I am going to start up Wayne Industries. But these are all thoughts for the morning asterisk yawning one last time. Damien slowly falls asleep. 6 colon 10 m, later morning, Damien's room. Slowly stirring awake, Damien slowly starts his morning exercise routine. Mentally thanking the GOC for his healing factor which allowed him to feel well rested even with only 2 hours of sleep. Over the next 30 minute Damien slowly completes part of the legendary workout. Only doing 50 push ups, 50 sit ups, and 50 squats as he clears his mind to think of what his next steps are. Damien dash asterisk now what I need to do is find a way to get the junkyard and then start a recycling plant. Using my powers I can make a recycling plant more efficient and allow for the recycling of other materials as well. Making other materials like glass, and silicon recyclable as well. These plants would also be a good resource for materials in the future. It would also be a start to Wayne Industries making money asterisk Alfred. I want you to spend the day doing research on all the information about recycling plants and how they run. I was schematics of facilities, machines used, and lists of all known recycled materials along with the processes used. Alfred I will add this to the current tasks. When would you like the report, sir? Damien dash get all the info you can without getting detected and have them sent to my watch. I also want you to look up possible land to start a recycling plant, and slash or plants that are closing slash being sold. Alfred dash I will make sure to have the information for you as soon as possible. Damien dash thanks for the help Alfred. After saying those final words, Damien went to the kitchen to have breakfast with his family before going to school. He spends the day practicing hacking with Alfred. They each took turns attacking the virtual machine that was in the supercomputer of his watch, while the other defended. Damien's enhanced intelligence allows him to split his mind and be able to practice and learn with Alfred, while at the same time reading the info about recycling plants Alfred sent him, and going through school like a normal student. Reviewing the information Damien realized that it isn't that hard to start a recycling plant and that he could even start a small one soon. Damien dash asterisk with all the things happening in the future, I know four major things that I'll need. One will be to make Wayne Industries a top company and spread its influence to many countries. Two is to make a secret base for heroes and possibly teleportation point to said facility. Three is to gather the resources to make all the tech and equipment my hero persona will use. And fourth is the freedom and time to take advantage of my powers and knowledge to best accomplish my goals asterisk. Creator's thoughts. WMF 18. Thanks for the patience and continuing to follow this novel. I do apologize that I am unable to release all three chapters at once, because outlining and creating a plot is taking longer than I thought.
But I will release the other two chapters this week as promised. But there will not be a regular release schedule for a while. At least I will try to release one chapter every two weeks minimum. Chapter 10, Chapter 10, Unexpected Accomplice. Two weeks later, 8 slash 29 slash 2003 dash 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 dash. On this Friday afternoon Damien is at the movies with some friends from school. While there he split his mind and used one half to have fun and enjoy the time he was having with his friends. The other half was using the supercomputer in his watch to hack into the nearby businesses and companies to check security and test himself. While doing so he happened to find the most interesting thing. There was a company called Enron that had an office downtown about 5 miles from the movie theater. Enron was an energy company and this was its corporate headquarters. As he hacked into their system there didn't seem to be anything wrong on the surface, but there was one computer that had a disguised folder with evidence of accounting fraud. The person using this computer just happened to be the secretary of the CEO, Mercy Graves. 8. Mercy was a 24-year-old who had been working for the company for nearly a year now. Since joining she had been very ambitious and made many proposals and plans to make the company more efficient. After a certain point she was basically taking care of the business while the CEO, Kenneth Lay, dealt with the financial, the shareholders, and business partners. But she started to see things in the financials didn't add up. So Mercy started to investigate on her own. 2. Damien dash asterisk it looks like she has some real experience running a company. I think I should check and see what kind of person she is. Asterisk. Using his powers he sends a message to Alfred for him to do a background check and see who Mercy is and what kind of person she is. Reading the information about Mercy, Damien was able to find out a few things about her. She graduated top of her class in business and management with a master's. She has worked for three different companies in management positions and has improved them. She has a red belt in karate and started training in taekwondo last month. She volunteers at the homeless shelter twice a month. Going back through her records, it shows that she always tried to do the right thing for the people. Damien dash asterisk this is interesting. She has the potential to do a lot asterisk looking through the systems of Enron he found that Kenneth Lay was onto her. He knew that she was snooping around the company's files and financials. Afraid that she would find his secret and that she would reveal everything, he had people follow her and see what she knows. 1. Damien dash asterisk she is doing the right thing but she is going to get herself killed if she keeps going this way. Maybe I should help her out a bit. Asterisk thinking this Damien goes through the computer system and copies all the files showing evidence of the fodit. Along with the factual info on what the financials of Enron actually are along with a message and a certain set of instructions. 1. Enron building, same time. Inside her office at the Enron building is Mercy Graves. Currently sitting behind her computer, Mercy was searching the company files to see if she could find the evidence she was looking for. Mercy dash asterisk I know that the financial reports are falsified somehow. I just need to find the proof. Maybe it's somewhere in the system. Asterisk just as she was about to open another document to search for discrepancies a message popped up on her screen. You are right about the false financial reports, but if you stay in the company you won't live past a week. If you want the truth to come out I could help, but from now on you work for me. Will you agree? Y slash N. 1. Mercy dash asterisk what is this? What is going on? If this person is telling the truth then I must be on to something big, but what can I do? Asterisk struggling with her thoughts, she doesn't know what to do. Just the thought of getting the truth and putting a stop to these false financial reports that are hurting everyone involved in the company made her agree. Hitting the Y button on the keyboard. The next thing she knew there was a new folder on the desktop screen. When she opened it, she saw all the files and information on everything fraudulent in the company. Then a new message popped up. 2. Download this file to two new oosts. Then leave and turn this into the police and the second you will take home and email a copy to the SEC, stands for the Securities and Exchange Commission, as soon as possible. After you get home you will pack your belongings and go to the nearest hotel for the next week. Your boss is after your life, and knows that you are close to the truth. 3. Shocked that she was found out, Mercy begins to do just as instructed and heads home before anyone knows what's going on, making it home 20 minutes later and starting to get packed. Once finished she sends an email to the SEC to an address she found on their website with all the evidence attached to it. Just as she was getting ready to relax, a message pops up on her laptop screen. The part that freaks her out is that it was similar to the messages on her office computer. 1. Grab your stuff and leave your apartment now Mercy. You have 5 minutes before your boss's hired guns get to your place. Leave through the back of the building for the safest route. Make sure to bring your computer with you and I will contact you about your new job soon. 9. Creator's Thoughts. WMF18. Thanks for waiting and I will try to release the last chapter soon. Will be used for messages slash computer text. Chapter 11, Chapter 11, A New Boss. 7.36 p.m. August 29, 2003, Mercy Graves' apartment. Mercy looks at her watch noticing the time, and begins to question the person on the other side of the message. She grabs her stuff and puts it by the door. She then moves to the window of her apartment. Looking outside she tries to see if there are any cars parking outside her building and tries to confirm the legitimacy of the message. Currently there is nothing out of the ordinary outside. Mercy dash I think I'm going crazy. First I find signs of fraud and then just as I am close to finding evidence I get random messages popping up on my screen. Going home with evidence that just appeared from nowhere is one thing, but for this person to make me leave home for a week. I would be crazy to trust this person completely. As she continues to question everything that has happened the last 30 minutes, she sees a black sedan pull up outside her building. A car she has never seen in the neighborhood before, and parked right in front of the entrance. Just as Mercy begins to regret doubting the voice, she receives a text on her phone. Looking down at the screen, she is surprised to see a message in the same format as earlier on her phone. They should be walking into your building now. You need to grab your things and go to the storage closet on the floor beneath you. You shouldn't doubt my info again. Once you get to the supply closet, wait for my signal and then you can leave as soon as possible out the back door. Receiving the new message, Mercy sighs in relief and grabs her packed bags, then rushes to the stairs so she can reach the supply closet on the floor below her. Heart racing and adrenaline pumping. Mercy waited impatiently for the message so that she could get to safety as quickly as possible. They just left the elevator for your floor. Take the stairs to the ground floor and exit through the back door. Call a taxi and ride two blocks away from the hotel and use an ATM to withdraw as much cash as you will need. 
For the next week you have to use cash and can't use your credit slash debit cards or ID. Type the name of the hotel you're going to for the week and I will take care of the rest. Complying with the orders given in the message. She was then told that when she gets to the hotel to check in, that she should say that she is a guest of Mr. Wayne. Although Mercy was confused about the orders, she was at least relieved to finally have a name to go with the mysterious messages. She then begins to hail a taxi as she hears police sirens in the distance. Ten minutes later, the taxi finally drove her two blocks from the hotel she was planning to stay at for the rest of the week. After stopping by an ATM she finally made it to the hotel. She went to the reception desk and did as told, stating that she was a guest of Mr. Wayne. The concierge then smiled brightly and ordered someone to carry her bags and lead her to her room. Or course Mercy was further surprised to find out that the hotel room she received was the executive suite. Putting down her bags and getting relaxed, she finally has time to think about everything that's happened today. Then pulls out her computer and begins to thoroughly read through the evidence and files that were given to her earlier. Two hours later, 10.18 p.m. Mercy dash asterisk even though I agreed to this earlier, I never had the chance to really read through everything that Kenneth was doing with the company's financials. Looking over everything now in this file, it shows that if things were to continue the shareholders and customers will lose a lot of money. While Kenneth was stealing tens of millions of dollars from the company and the shareholders. If this had continued the company would also go bankrupt as Kenny would have all of this money hidden to the side, with no one knowing. Hold on a minute. If I stay with the company, then when everything goes bankrupt this will ruin my credibility and chances of working for a major company in the future. Asterisk. Just as Mercy begins to think about how things will turn out once the scandal is revealed, she starts to see the screen of her computer flicker. On her screen she starts to see the picture of a man. Think of Ben Affleck as the face of Bruce Wayne. As she looked at the screen confused, the man began talking to her. Now I know you have a lot of questions, but let's start by telling you who I am. My name is Bruce Wayne. You can think of me as your new boss. Creator's thoughts. WMF 18. This is the last of the three chapters promised for last week. As far as updates go you guys can expect no less than one chapter every two weeks minimum. I still have one chapter to release for this week though. Thanks again for supporting the novel. Chapter 12, Chapter 12, Behind the Scenes. 7, 12 p.m., earlier that night. As Damien was hacking into the system he also hacked into Kenneth Lay's computers and other accounts and systems as well. Seeing a few messages back and forth between him and someone not a part of the company. Damien dash asterisk so it turns out that Kenneth knew that Mercy found out about the false financial reports. He actually hired someone to kill her before she could finish her investigation asterisk. Realizing this, Damien changed his message and decided that Mercy would be a great secretary for Wayne Industries. Sending the message he waits for her reply as he puts her under complete surveillance for her protection. While also monitoring Kenneth and the guys trying to kill Mercy. After she accepts to become his subordinate he sends her all the evidence and files that incriminate Kenneth. While at the same time telling her to send them to the proper authorities, and keeping a copy for herself. Seeing that she won't be working for Enron after that day, Damien then had her leave and head home so that she could go into hiding. With the movie over, Damien and his friends comment on all the scenes and begin to say their goodbyes. While riding home with his dad, Damien seemed to have fallen asleep. But in actual fact, he was putting his full attention to monitoring the situation with Mercy and the hired guns. Damien dash asterisk Kenneth just sent Mercy's address to his hired guns, and they are starting to head that way. I need to time this just right so I can get them out of the way and protect Mercy asterisk thinking that. Damien begins to hack into the police dispatch service network and looks up response times for Mercy's apartment. Also sending a message to Mercy's personal laptop, since she was hesitating to leave. Damien dash asterisk this should be enough time for them to break into her apartment. I should also make it look like it was a neighbor who called asterisk with this idea in mind. Damien hacked into the dispatch service and made a fake call as a neighbor watching two guys with guns break into the neighbor's apartment. Having it go through all the channels so that it would be timed perfectly. As Mercy started to make her way out of her building, the two hired guns had just broken into her apartment and started looking for her. But they had just missed her, and saw that the apartment was empty. The next thing they did was start tearing the place apart to find the files and evidence that would convict their employer. Making so much noise in the process that they didn't notice that police sirens were outside the building but cut off shortly afterwards. Five minutes later two police officers have the men at gunpoint, telling them to freeze. After a brief struggle, both guys were arrested and on their way to the police station. After dealing with some trouble behind the scenes, he realizes that he is almost home. Getting home and finishing his homework, pretty easy for a teen to finish second grade assignments, while he waited on Mercy, who had started reading through all the files sent to her more thoroughly for the past 10 minutes. Now at home with more free time, he begins to check the list Alfred sent him on possible attorneys. While the list had narrowed down a bit it was still in the hundreds. Seeing as there was going to be a new secretary soon he put off making a decision. Instead he started to make a new project. Damien dash asterisk knowing that too much happens to CEOs, companies, and political figures in MCU. I should make a new appearance to be the face of the company. A face to go with the identity of Bruce Wayne. I should make a virtual copy of that face and body that looks as if you are watching a live video. And since I am going to Bruce Wayne, then the best face for that would be the Ben Affleck version. Asterisk with all the ideas set, he and Alfred begin to make the program. Thinking to the future he made it so that he could more accurately control the face and facial expressions with a single command of his powers. Then made it so that the hard light function of his watch could even project the face and appearance over his own. He even made a sub-program so that he could record himself and the Bruce Wayne filter would show. Even going so far as to perfectly mask his voice and facial expressions in real time. After completing all that over the past hour he noticed that Mercy just finished reading the info he sent earlier. Giving her a moment to comprehend and understand the importance of everything before taking complete control of the computer screen. Using his powers to run the Bruce Wayne program, Damien began to talk to her. Damien slash Bruce Wayne dash now I know you have a lot of questions, but let's start by telling you who I am. My name is Bruce Wayne. You can think of me as your new boss. Chapter 13, Chapter 13, Opportunity. Looking at the screen, Mercy begins to freak out. The screen, that was just covered in files and documents, now shows a man in a suit sitting behind a desk in some office space. While trying hard to stay as calm as possible, Mercy was barely able to squeeze out a question in her shock. Mercy dash what do you mean new boss? What is going on? Bruce dash before all this started you said you would work for me if I gave you the financial reports and evidence of Kenneth's fraud. I also got you to safety before his hired guns could do what they were paid for. 
Speaking of the hired guns, they were arrested shortly after they broke into your apartment. Mercy Dash and why would you help someone like me? What do you want me for? Knowing that he couldn't tell her that he was testing the limits of his powers and happened to see the hidden folder on her computer. Damien had to lie about why he started helping her. Bruce honestly, I found out about your situation by coincidence. While looking into the company I saw there was a hit put on you. Looking further into who you were, I saw that you had potential to help run a major company. And I want you to be my personal assistant and secretary. Still confused about the whole situation, Mercy rethinks his words and finally started to understand some of the things that happened. Mercy dash thanks for saving my life and helping me find the financial report. But how can I work for you? I don't even know what you do or what your company is. Bruce dash I am not a good or completely selfless man. I won't go out of my way to save someone when it puts myself and my objectives in jeopardy. But I want to make a company that deals in helping people. New items, tools, and machines for the customers that will help their lives in some way. New jobs and opportunities for those who work for us. The opportunities for the less fortunate that my company will make through donations, grants, scholarships, and programs. That's what I hope to build. But it is not my end goal. This is all a means to an end, but it will be able to possibly save lives in the end. And you will help me to build it up and help make it all possible. Listening to this explanation, Mercy was shocked and skeptical about everything. But as she thought about it, she became amazed by all the possibilities. 2. Mercy dash asterisk if this guy truly means everything he says this would be an amazing opportunity for me. He also wants me to run the company. I wonder what exactly he wants me to do asterisk so what exactly will you have me do? Bruce publicly you'll be my assistant and then secretary. In private, you'll be managing the company yourself for the most part. I'm a busy man and don't have the time to manage everything. That's where you come in. You will manage everything but all final decisions will be run through me first. Of course you will be well compensated and have certain safety measures in place. And I already have your first assignment. Here is a list of law firms I've been thinking of affiliating with my company. Take a look and choose one with good morals and won't betray or harm the company. 6. Saying this, Damien sent a file with all the info Alfred gathered on the different attorneys and law firms that he screened. Along with the background info and previous cases they worked in detail. Bruce the room has been paid for a week's stay, and you have $200 for room service. You should be safe to move back home after this week. Although you will have some cleaning to do when you get there. Take this assignment seriously, because I am expecting great results. 3. After he said that, Bruce's image disappeared from the screen, leaving a stunned Mercy staring at the screen and reviewing the entire conversation in her mind. On the other hand, Damien begins his nightly exercise routine to prepare for bed. 2. Damien dash asterisk with how things progress today, tomorrow is the day that I, asterisk. Chapter 14, Chapter 14, The Reveal. Damien dash asterisk with how things progress today, tomorrow is the day that I tell my parents about my powers. In order for things to go more smoothly, I need more freedom than a normal 8-year-old can normally get. Hopefully talking to my parents will allow me to go places, and do all the things I need asterisk. 7. While thinking that, Damien goes to sleep. Wanting to be well rested for the long talk he will have with his parents in the morning. Saturday 8 18 a.m. 8 slash 30 slash 2003 dash dash. After waking up and finishing his normal exercise routine Damien had breakfast with his family as usual. Once breakfast was finished, he turned towards his mother and father, and decided to speak. Damien dash mom. Dad, I have something very important to tell you both. Jasmine seeing Damien hesitate, walks over to him, and kneels down to his level. Jasmine dash it's okay honey, you can always talk to us, and you can tell us anything. We are here for you, so you can go ahead and tell us. Damien well I wanted to tell you something that's hard to believe. For the past year, I have slowly become a little different and I don't know any other way to take it. I found out that I have superpowers. 1. After hearing what he said, Alexander and Jasmine looked at him with doubt thinking that he was imagining things. But seeing the doubt on his parents' faces, Damien knew that they didn't believe him. Damien dash it started with me feeling like I was connected to something bigger, and that if I just reached out I could touch it. Following that connection I found that I could command and control technology. As Damien said this the TV across the room turned on and had a picture of his face and words coming out real time. Saying the exact same things and making the same facial expressions. I also was able to heal quickly. My healing factor is also improving and speeding up the more I use it as well. 4. Shocked by what they were seeing. Both Alex and Jasmine jumped up and stared back and forth between the television and their son. In disbelief of what they were seeing. Alex dash what's going on Damien? Is this a joke? How are you doing all this? While asking this Alexander is contemplating all the different ways his 8 year old son could accomplish the feats in front of him. 3. Damien dash this is a part of my powers. By connecting to the TV and making it show a video of what I imagine myself saying in real time. I wanted you to see a bit of what I can do to show you some proof that I really have superpowers. After showing what he can do with his powers Damien sees his parents look at him in confusion. They then turn to look each other in the eyes. After a moment they both looked back to Damien. Alexander dash Damien, as your parents we will always love you. But the world is a dangerous place. With powers like yours you will be exposed to a lot of bad people and events. As he was talking, Alex joined his wife by the side of their son. Putting a hand on his shoulder. Now that you have these powers we have to make sure that no one finds out what you can do. 1. Jasmine dash but the most important thing is that you don't abuse your powers. You must do the right thing. The real question is what do you want to do with this amazing ability? 3. Amazed by how accepting his parents were, Damien gains the confidence to tell his parents some of his plans. Damien dash I want to use my powers to help people. And I kinda already have. Hearing his response his parents start feeling proud, but then after hearing that he has already been using his powers for others they get worried. Feeling worried for their son, angry he did things behind their back, and anxious of the idea that he would get caught they begin to speak up. Jasmine dash what did you do Damien? Alex dash you're going to tell us anything right now. 1. Shocked and surprised about their reactions, Damien looks down not looking them in the eyes. He begins to nervously fidget as he begins to tell them most of the stuff he's done since he got his powers. 3. Creator's thoughts. WMF 18. Here is the chapter for last week. Things are getting a little busy as I prepare for school. 
As the next semester starts, I am going to put this novel on hiatus, but I won't stop writing chapters. When things calm down a bit I will update the next chapter and do a scheduled release for the rest. Chapter 15, Chapter 15, The Truth Will Set You Free 6. After explaining his powers to his parents, Damien begins to tell his parents about what he has been doing with his powers and what he wants to do in the future. He went on to explain his daily training of his powers, then about how he used his powers to make money fixing things, even though his parents thought he was doing that on his own, then about how he was able to later learn different programming languages and hacking skills. He told them about using his hacking skills to help the police and how he found out about a lot of evil people and organizations because of it. Damien Desh because of my powers I was able to learn a lot of information and learned of organizations doing horrible things. That's why I want to become a hero, to help the people, and to do that I wanted to start a business to gain enough money to support my expenses as a hero. 3. Shocked by all the news about their son's past actions, Damien's parents stare at their son in amazement. Proud of the good he has done, impressed by his dreams and still worried of what could happen in the future. 8. Jasmine looked at her son in both shock, pride, and worry. She realized that with his future plans, Damien will be in constant danger. But she knew that, regardless of how she would like things to be normal, Damien's life would never be normal. She was just thankful that even with all the amazing things her son could do, he was able to come to her and her husband about everything. 1. Alex Desh before we agree to anything, I want to ask you something. Did you think this through completely? You said you helped the police a bit, but do you know how evil and terrifying people can be? This isn't like the heroes in your TV shows. Being a hero can get you killed, injured, or worse. You can end up seeing things no person should in this peaceful day and age. Are you really going to prepare for that? 5. Listening to his dad, Damien begins to remember all the evil things he ever heard of or saw in the Marvel world. The human trafficking, mind control and brainwashing, human experimentation, mass murder, and everything else. Closing his eyes he thinks about all the things that happened and all the things that will happen. Then he thought about what he would do when he stumbled upon those dark situations. Damien Desh asterisk am I really able to be a true hero? Will I be able to handle seeing all those different situations? Asterisk. After thinking for a moment, Damien turns towards his father and finally looks up. Damien Desh no, I don't think I am ready for all of that. But I know I will one day. I have plenty of time to prepare and train for it. So please help me and let me be a hero one day. 1. Hearing Damien start, Alex was a little surprised but he expected that from a child. But then as Damien continued he was shocked. Then he became even more proud of his son. Looking Damien in the eyes, he saw just how determined his child was to help others and right the wrongs of many. 1. Alex Desh I can agree to allowing you to help others, even to train your powers and help you prepare for some of your future plans. But about you being a hero, I can only allow that under certain conditions. 1. Jasmine smiled at her husband and then looked at her son. Jasmine Desh before you even think of becoming a hero, you should train and figure out what you can do. Besides, you can't be everywhere at once and need the tools and equipment too. Alex Desh your mother is right. First you need to learn to protect yourself. So that means you need to learn martial arts. Then there are equipment, tools, and facilities you will need as a hero too. So until you have the training, facilities to safely conduct your hero activities, and the equipment you need for hero work you will have to wait. Until you get all of those things you will be helping out only through the network like you did before. Jasmine Desh although we can't do much we will help you with everything we can. So you have to promise us that regardless of what happens you will be open with us about the hero work you do. And you won't be starting any hero work without getting our approval first. 4. Happy and excited about his parents' response, Damien jumped into a group hug. After three hours of explanations and discussion the family finally relaxed and sat back down. But as they were sitting at the kitchen table, curiosity got the better of them and Alex had an interesting thought. Alex dash so Damien, what else can you do with your ability? Answering his question, Damien spent the rest of the day demonstrating his powers by fixing all the broken electronics in the house and even making a few interesting gadgets out of trash devices and spare parts. All the while having fun with his parents and finally relaxing. Knowing he no longer has to be so secretive and being able to share a bit of his burden with his parents as well. 3. Creator's Thoughts WMF 18 Things have finally calmed down as far as classes go but work is demanding at the moment. We'll be posting sporadically for a while as I stockpile chapters. Please be patient and enjoy the story. I originally planned for this to be a short story anyway but things changed with all the positive encouragement from my readers. So now I am preparing to write, for now, up until the age of Ultron movie. Any ideas then send as a comment, I actually read those, and are pretty much the reason I am posting this early. Chapter 16, Chapter 16, Looking to the Future. Damien ended up spending the rest of the day showing his parents all the things he can do with his powers at the moment. He ended up increasing the security on all web devices in the house, enhancing the Wi-Fi connection. While he was at it he even went around and used his powers to disassemble and completely repair all the old electronics in the house. Doing so impressed his parents and made them happy they wouldn't have to replace them. They even had an extensive talk about what he needs to do to prepare to become a hero. His parents even suggested that he not work alone. And although he told his parents about his activities, he didn't tell them his alter ego. He decided that even though they will know he will become a hero, he will keep his identity a secret from them until his secrets and family can be protected. Before going to sleep for the night, Damien had many ideas about what he should do to further protect his family now that they were aware of what he can do. Damien then spent the next few days upgrading the security in the house and digitally for his family. While at the same time he continued communications with Mercy and was able to get a legal team assigned for Wayne Industries. After getting a response from the family owning the junkyard, negotiations were able to get started for the purchase of the company. 3.22 p.m. September 3, 2003, Mercy Graves Apartment. A few days later, Mercy was able to see the news on the TV back in her apartment about her ex-boss and his hitman being arrested. She was skeptical when she received a message earlier that morning saying it was safe to go home. Although after seeing how everything was tossed she was glad that Mr. Wayne told her to spend her days looking for a new place to live. Continuing to pack her things she wonders about the future of the new Wayne Industries. Just yesterday, the boss asked her to have the legal team prepare to buy some land and all necessary documentation for the start of a new subsidiary named Wayne Waste Disposal. 
He wanted to use the land to create a recycling plant that, in conjunction with Junkyard in the middle of negotiation, he plans to cut back American waste by efficiently recycling all sorts of used materials. Mercy dash asterisk I'm starting to get excited about this. This new company already has some plans to start two other subsidiaries. While at the same time, Mr. Wayne has told me about future plans to participate in many non-profit organizations to help people once the company is self-sufficient. I wonder what is going to happen next, asterisk. 6.30 a.m. 2 slash 10 slash 2009 Shade House. Going through his morning exercises, Damien starts reminiscing about everything that has happened over the past six years. A lot has happened with his family, company, and preparations. As he was thinking about the memories of past achievements and other events that happened. Chapter 17, Chapter 17, 6 years 3. 6.30 a.m. February 10, 2009, Shade House. As he was thinking about the memories of past achievements and other events that happened over the past six years, Damien got dressed for school. 3. A lot has happened over the last six years. Wayne Industries was able to build its first corporate building after eight months with many adjustments made secretly. Also able to make a name for itself and its subsidiary companies after two years. Wayne Waste became a well-known recycling center that sells the recycled materials to manufacturers and industrial plants. Due to the success in New York many more recycling centers were being made through major junctions in the U.S., and waste was being transported to the centers for processing. Wayne Securities was able to make jobs for retired veterans, allowing them to work as a security agency. Most hired veterans were those honorably discharged, retired, and even a few dishonorable discharged veterans were able to work for them after intensive research was done on the reason for their discharge. They did jobs such as security guards, security engineers, bodyguards, and a select few work as mercenaries for secret missions assigned to the team. Wayne Technologies was able to make a lot of money for the company due to the many different patents that Damien and the employees submitted. The many appliances and household items they created were made by a third party and sold all over. The employees even get 10% royalties for all the patents the company uses for products. Wayne Research was started one year ago and they started with research for the safety of Wayne security employees. They researched bulletproof materials, communications devices, and security systems for clients. At the same time having other projects on the side. Wayne Medical was just started a few months ago and is just gathering and giving donations to failing and impoverished hospitals and clinics across the U.S. 1. But all these achievements are just things that happen to Wayne Industries. Damien has been busy as well, learning multiple martial arts from real studios across New York. Although he doesn't advance far or fast to not raise suspicion, he does watch the advanced classes as well and masters everything before moving on. He also was able to learn almost all common languages spoken in major countries around the world and a few dead languages as well. He spent time learning a lot of new subjects over the past six years to help with his future as a hero and CEO. He learned forensic science, medical, law, business, economics, and cryptography. While learning each subject, he followed a few cases from the past and present to learn the thought process of people in each field. Seeing examples of how to use all the skills learned and getting practice as well. Damien was even able to make a few things that helped to keep his identity as Wayne Industries CEO a secret. While at the same time, started the build of his own secret base and hideout. Doing so by using spare parts and materials from the recycling plants and other sources. 5. In the shadows, Damien was able to secretly save and recruit many people who were about to be killed, or betrayed, and kept them at the secret base to continue their work for the better of people. Some of those people were able to be saved and prevented from being future villains. Knowing what's about to happen in the next few days to Tony Stark, Damien begins to enact his plans and starts to send out surveillance drones of different types to keep track of the activities of Tony, Pepper Potts, and Obadiah Sana, recording important conversations and scanning all technologies around them. While keeping surveillance on them the drones will also hack into all computer systems they use and leave a back door for Alfred to check info. 2. Asterisk this is going to be the start of everything. If I play my cards right I'll be able to prepare for the future and also be able to get a major advancement in the tech I use. The next few months will be hectic. Asterisk. 4. Chapter 18. Chapter 18. Getting ahead. 6.42 a.m. February 10, 2009. Shade House. Finished with his morning routine and on his way to the kitchen, Damien finishes his thoughts. After greeting his parents, Damien sits at the kitchen table with his family. Done with his breakfast Damien heads to school. Now finishing the last semester of his 8th grade year. Through school Damien has made a few friends and keeps up appearances as a regular 12-year-old. 4. While enjoying being a normal kid he also uses his powers to split his attention and manage the company at the same time. Three years ago, with materials gained from the super-efficient recycling plant he modified, he was able to build a synthoid robot with the appearance of Bruce Wayne. That synthoid usually stays in the apartment building bought, built, and modified by Wayne Industries. This synthoid was a blank sub-AI to Alfred. He was programmed to be obedient to Damien and follow instructions given by Alfred. Given all the information and knowledge needed to run the company and at the same time had a direct connection to Damien's smartwatch computer. Also programmed with all the mannerisms Damien wanted for Bruce Wayne. While at the same time knowing beforehand what it was and that its purpose was to help Damien in running a truly caring and legal company. This Bruce Wayne synthoid has allowed Damien to manage and control the company without having to risk being discovered. 3. Knowing that the next few days will be the start of everything in the MCU picking up, Damien has spread his nanobot drones even further. Gathering more information on all Hydra agents across the world, inhumane government experiments, and honorable scientists around the world that are being plotted against. His was first sending a nano drone, disguised as a fly, into Camp Lee High. This drone was unconnected from any network and had two separate hard drives installed. One of which was used to contain the programs and instructions for the drone to follow. The other was an isolated drive that was made to be able to copy all files and programs of any device connected to it without being detected. This drone was made to sneak into the camp and download all programs of all devices on the facility with its ghost drive. Effectively giving Damien a massive backstory on the rebirth of Hydra and a program to track, trace, and detect all Hydra members worldwide. The information he found on the devices will also tell him about Project Paperclip. 
the program that SHIELD and the U.S. used to defect Hydra and German scientists into their ranks after the war, even going so far as to track the families of those scientists, which continued to be Hydra sleeper agents. Once its task was completed the drone proceeded to leave the facility without being detected, and also went directly to Damien's private base hidden under New York City. 1. An hour later the drone could be seen flying across the room in a subterranean tunnel. This room was the main area of Damien's private HQ. This facility was made in a previously demolished subway tunnel. Years prior this tunnel was demolished and sealed in order to facilitate the building of multiple skyscrapers above at a later date. Finding this information Damien then proceeded to erase and mask all knowledge and information of that tunnel and the area around it. While at the same time expanding the tunnel and creating a facility for his future hero activity, he plans for this facility to have its own training rooms and research labs for his own personal convenience, with other additions to make the facility more convenient as a secret hideout and a secure safe house as well. Flying through the tunnels, the drone makes multiple turns finally ending up in a room 10x10 in size. The only thing that is kept in this room is a pedestal, directly in the middle on top of which is a black cube. This cube was basically a supercomputer with its own internal battery system with modules that support future upgrades. This cube was also facilitated with its home holographic projector, and made in such a way that it cannot receive or send signals of any kind. The stationary device only had one port in which data can only be input but never exported. The drone flies to the top of the cube and lands on the solitary corner and docks into the only port for the cube. With that, the cube comes to life and begins to flash in blue lights. Five minutes later the drone flies off, going to the research lab, promptly flying into the molecular forge, destroying itself and refining its materials. But left in the solitary room was that black box with blue lights flashing all around. Slowly its holographic projector comes to life as the face of a once dead hydro scientist begins to form. The face continues to look around the room wondering what's going on as it questions what happened to it. But the answers to its questions weren't able to be found in the empty white room it found itself in. 2. 9.25 p.m. February 10, 2009, Star Lab, secret base under construction, dash. 3. In the middle of a huge metal room could be seen a young man fighting hand to hand with a masked assailant, looking to be no older than 14 years old, wearing shorts and a tank top. The young man is using all sorts of martial arts and different combinations of fighting techniques against an assailant twice his size, ducking under a punch and landing in a crouching poster. The young man sweeps the legs of his assailant and knocks him into the ground. The visage of the masked assailant is slowly distorted like static on a television. Slowly, the masked assailant on the floor transforms into a synthoid robot. The young man slowly got up from his crouching posture, drenched in sweat from his extensive exercise. Damien looking down at one of his creations, a practice robot for his future danger room. He then proceeds to wipe his sweat and walk out of the room to a solitary door. Opening the door, the first thing he sees is the face of a furious German scientist. He then proceeds to hear the face, floating above a cube, questioning him about where he is and what he wants with him. Chapter 19, Chapter 19, The Hidden Plot 9.34 p.m. February 10, 2009, Star Lab, Secret Base Under Construction, Dash From the pedestal in the center of the room, there was a face being projected via hologram, while a voice was heard coming from the cube sitting on it. Zola Dash what is this? Where am I? Do you even know who I am? Damien Arnim Zola, a German scientist who worked with the Red Skull. Damien walks further into the room to stand directly in front of the pedestal. Correction. You are Swiss, aren't you? Zola Dash I see my reputation precedes me. Young man, tell me where we are. Damien Dash right now you are in a secret facility. You may have already tried to connect to other devices, but ultimately failed. Your current body consists of a single device with only cameras, speakers, and holographic projection units. Not only that but you are in an isolated room that is shielded from all signals. Seeing as you will be here for a very long time, how about you tell me about Hydra's current scheme? Damien steps to the front of the holographic face as he talks to Zola. But unknown to Zola, Damien is using his powers to search through his data for all information about Hydra, slowly searching and copying the data to his watch that houses his disguised supercomputer. Every thought, memory, and information that Zola has about Hydra is slowly being scanned and downloaded. Zola I'm surprised that you were aware that Hydra still lives. But to tell about the present you must first know the past. Hydra was founded on the belief that humanity could not be trusted with its own freedom. What we did not realize was that if you tried to take that freedom, they resist. 6. Zola began his whole speech about how he used SHIELD's project paperclip as an opportunity to resurrect Hydra within SHIELD like a parasite. Over the past 70 years, SHIELD has been used to carry out missions and plans made by Hydra agents hidden in their ranks, gloating about how the time for Hydra to come out of the shadows was almost at hand, and also about how in a few years Damien would see just how great Hydra was. What Zola didn't know was that every memory and piece of info Zola pulled up to gloat made Damien's task even easier. As Zola brought up data from the hard drive to remember, Damien was using his abilities to filter all these files and all connected info to his watch. Everything he copied was then scanned completely by Alfred and then stored on Damien's secure virtual drive in Alfred's server. Zola nearing the end of his speech had a smirk on his holographic face as he stared Damien in the eyes. Zola, we will win, and your death will amount to the same as your life, a zero sum. I have given Hydra all the insight they need to complete our goals, but too bad you will be too dead to see it. Hail Hydra. 1. As Zola finishes his speech, the cube on the table starts to overheat. Smoke started to rise from it and the pedestal. Just as Damien takes two steps back, the cube explodes sending shrapnel flying all over the room. Jumping back just in time, Damien lands outside the room while using his ability to quickly close the door. Having landed on the ground, Damien feels sharp pains on his left leg, torso and right arm. Looking himself over he sees shrapnel embedded in his leg and arm, while blood is leaking from three spots on his abdomen. Sighing he uses his left hand to yank the shrapnel from his right arm first, then his leg. The wounds heal and seal themselves visibly to the naked eye. Within 20 seconds the wounds are fully healed as if never there. Damien asterisk 19 seconds. My healing factor is still too weak. I will have to train more in the future. Good thing Zola likes to hear himself talk. 
I was able to get almost all the info he had on Hydra, with Project Insight and current sleeper agents as a priority. Although there are some questions on a lot of what Hydra did more than 65 years ago, but some spotty info was found from his time with the Red Skull and the beginning of Project Paperclip. This is more than enough to begin preparing for the Hydra takeover. Asterisk. 2. Getting up, Damien slowly stretches and flexes his body but still feels some pains in his abdomen and right arm. Slowly, he walks to another part of the facility, walking into a giant room filled with all kinds of machines and medical equipment. Inside this medbay, Damien lays down on a metallic table with concentric rings attached around the sides at the base near his feet. Once his head is in place he closes his eyes. Damien Alfred, do a quick scan and assess the damages. Alfred right away sir. As Alfred responded, the rings on the base of the bed begin to glow orange and spin as they travel up the bed. As they travel up and across Damien, they flash lights that scan throughout his body. Alfred there are two metallic shards located in your abdomen, metallic splinters in your left leg, and what appears to be a piece of metal embedded in the bone of your right radius, one of the bones found in forearm. Damien asterisk that's a lot worse than I thought asterisk Alfred. Activate surgical equipment and proceed to remove all the foreign metal. Do not activate sutures and anesthetics. Alfred right away sir. I'm locking you in to prevent movement as well. Arms then folded out of the table with lasers and surgical equipment attached. Then shackles closed around Damien's arms and legs. The arms then moved to cut the afflicted areas with lasers. Then the surgical equipment proceeded to remove all the metal and placed it on a metal container for later disposal. Moments later, the procedure was completed. Alfred dash sir, the procedure is done. All foreign materials have been removed. You can now start healing yourself. After hearing this, Damien opened his eyes. As he sat up his wounds slowly began to close up and heal visibly. Chapter 20, Chapter 20, Spreading Across the Country. 10.43 p.m. February 10, 2009, Star Lab, Secret Base Under Construction, Dash. As Damien sits up on the table, his wounds are finally closed up. Once healed, he wipes his previously injured areas with sanitized wipes from the surgery tray. Then using his powers he begins to review the info from Zola that he copied earlier. While one partition of his mind begins to review the info he informs Alfred of their next course of action. Damien Alfred. Send some cleaner and construction bots to take care of the virtual jail cell. Make sure that the room is hit with an isolated EMP for 10 minutes before the bots begin cleaning and repair. Make sure all the materials and bots that leave the room are sent to the molecular forge to be melted down and reconstructed immediately. I'm now uploading diagnostics and system logs from the virtual containment unit. Find what allowed Zola to take control of the CPU, cooling, and power systems. Alfred right away sir. The construction and cleaner bots are on the way to the cell. The emergency EMP for the isolated room has already activated and will continue for the next 9 minutes 42 seconds. I am also making sure that all bots, drones, and synthoids will stay clear of all areas leading to the molecular forge and the virtual cell. Would there be anything else to take care of sir? Finding out that Project Paperclip allowed Hydra agents to recreate their organization through the use of SHIELD resources wasn't a surprise to Damien. But what surprised him was the list of known double agents in SHIELD and the families around the world with the closest ties to Hydra. The insight program made by Zola was also able to use info gathered to determine both known and unknown Hydra agents. Damien dash asterisk it may be early, but using the insight program and all the info Zola has access to, I can make a few programs that can help in the future. I will have to make a program that monitors Hydra agents in SHIELD and keep track of all info they access to, along with missions they give or go on. The second program will help identify all Hydra agents in SHIELD and will be able to control their access to all SHIELD materials or information, making it so that anytime those Hydra agents copy files, the most important info in it will be deleted the moment it is read on any non-SHIELD devices, while at the same time it will copy all files they delete or edit in the SHIELD systems asterisk. While in his thoughts, Damien walks back to the main hall of Star Lab, his hidden base, looking at the lounge he walks to a clear section of wall and looks straight ahead, stopping at what would have been the entrance of his sealed base with a smirk. Damien now for the first official use of my newest invention upgrade 0 to 1, send me home. After he says that, red beams scan him completely before a panel of the wall opens up, showing a circular portal coming to life about 10 feet in diameter. Damien then proceeds through the portal only to walk out of the closet in his bedroom, where a door-shaped portal on the back wall loses light the second he walks through. The inch-thick frames of the door-shaped portal then folds into the floor of the closet as if never there. Damien dash asterisk now that teleport tubes are working, I can have construction bots build them in cities all around the world. But first I need to get started on the programs and a few side projects asterisk. Sitting on his bed, Damien faces the supercomputer in his room disguised as a regular desktop. Closing his eyes he partitions his mind into three parts. One part starts using all the information he gained from Zola and his future knowledge of MCU to begin writing the programs mentioned earlier. Using his powers to begin writing and testing the programs with the help of Alfred. The second part dives into his mindscape to reinforce and improve its defenses and structure. The final one opened his eyes and viewed the screen as all types of knowledge and information about chemistry, physics, biology, and studies or research papers about molecules. Beginning a long study session to study molecules, how they interact, and how they react to the environment. 8 a.m. February 11, 2009, Wayne Industries HQ, New York. In the CEO's office of Wayne Industries HQ was Mercy Graves and what everyone thought was Bruce Wayne. This Bruce Wayne was actually a synthoid program to act as a person while following orders given by Damien and Alfred. Although the synthoid was only able to take over the Bruce Wayne persona three years ago, it was able to make major progress on improving and expanding the company. The Wayne Waste was able to expand out of New York and is now in California, Texas, Washington DC, and Florida. All of which have a working and profitable recycling service for all the residential and commercial locations. Even going so far as to take loads from landfills for recycling. Organic waste such as old foods and biodegradable materials is turned to mulch for resale. Whereas all waste is further sorted through the facilities. With workers who go put it through sorting, and industrial sized molecular forge disguised as a smelter or other devices. Allowing the company to make profit on selling the raw materials of glass, 
plastics, paper, and various metals. Wayne Security was able to make multiple home security devices like ring doorbells, sensors for windows and doors, and many others. These devices were made in bulk and sold to many other home security services. On the other hand, many retired veterans were more than happy to sign up for the security guard position for the Wayne Security subsidiary, many of which work as guards for other stores and companies on retainer. Some who were accepting of going back in the field worked as mercenaries doing rescue, protection, and security for many clients. Wayne Tech has developed a few devices that have improved the personal lives of people, making better bulletproof vests for police officers that are more durable and made of a thinner and more impact-resistant material. Wayne Tech is also where the equipment made for Wayne Securities was invented, but the company was still expanding. Currently in the office, that was exactly what the two were talking about. Bruce Dash Mercy, I think it is time for Wayne Industries to begin spreading throughout the rest of the US. We need to also work on building Wayne Health and going into the medical field. There are a lot of medical devices in the world that could be further improved or pressed for ease of use. When do you think we can get started on that? Mercy Dash Well we already had a few plans ready for it. A lot of hospitals on the verge of bankruptcy were purchased and are currently running under the subsidiary in name only. Once everything is set up we can begin working on Wayne Health. As for spreading Wayne Industries throughout the US, we are slowly working on doing so. There are new recycling facilities and manufacturing plants being built currently. And although we have been making a slight profit, I suggest a new product be released soon to be able to cover the losses of the new subsidiary. Bruce Dash I'm sure we can think of a few things. Comment. 19 comments. Vote.